Uh, hi guys, quick video today on how to make cylinders. Uh, so I'm in my inventor program. I'm going to go ahead and create a 2D sketch. And there are a couple of ways to make a cylinder in inventor. But first I have to determine whether or not I'm going to make my cylinder from my XY plane or from my, y, my XZ plane. Uh, so we'll make them both ways today in our video, but we're going to start with what we're used to, which is our XY plane. So I'm going to select my XY plane, and I'm going to build my cylinder from the front. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to make a 1 inch by 5 inch cylinder, uh, which I can do by starting with a rectangle when building it from the front view. So I'll go ahead and make my rectangle and just dimension it. Um, I want my cylinder to be one inch diameter. So I'm going to go ahead and do half of that here, a half inch diameter, because I'm going to revolve this shape around. And then I want it to be five inches long. So enter my five. And there we go. I just have a five inch by half inch rectangle. And I'm ready to go from there. So we're going to finalize or finish our sketch. And now, I have my sketch and typically what we've done in the past is we've used the extrude function. Today we're going to use the revolve function and we're going to revolve this rectangle around the axis to make a cylinder. So I'm going to click the revolve function and now it's asking me which axis do I want to revolve the shape around. And I'm going to go with this axis right here. So I'll come over, select the axis and I want a full revolution around that axis so I'm gonna click OK and here we go we have our cylinder made on our XY plane so let's go back and see how we can make a cylinder on the XZ plane so we'll go start new part create 2D sketch and let's select our XZ plane. So now I'm no longer building from the front view, I'm building from the top view. Uh, to do this, all we have to do is hit the circle function. We'll make a circle, and remember my diameter is gonna be one inch, so I'll dimension this circle to one inch, enter, hit my home button, and I'm ready to finish sketch. And now all I have to do, since I have my circle here, is extrude it into a cylinder. So I'll extrude and I'm going to go up five inches, click OK, click home, and I've made the same cylinder in two different ways. Okay? So I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, let me know in class if you have any issues making your cylinders. See you soon.